Hello everybody, welcome to another Anonymous Walrus YouTube video and today I've got a package. Alright, so I got this package from Mandara K. Okay, and I already taken out the shipping details but it looks like a big box but I'm telling you it's not. There's, there's nothing much inside here. So let me just open this up, alright? Alright, so, well, let's see what's inside. It's a lot of bubble wrap. And I don't know if you can see it really, but this is actually, well, Rebel Tech Lena. So, uh, let me just introduce to you what this product is. Alright, Rebel Tech Lena from the Queen's Blade line. So, I got this figure off of uh, Mandara K. So, in case you don't know what Mandara K is, Mandara K is a second-hand figure shop, much like the Bukovs, or uh, like the pre-owned section in Army Army from uh, in Japan. So, Mandara K, as you all may know, is actually uh, has, has it's a franchise, more like it actually has multiple stores in Japan. So, um, I've forgotten which store I got this figure from, but they actually have physical locations in Japan right now. Um, I think there's like one in Akihabara, Tokyo, Osaka, uh, Nakano, Nagoya. I think it's uh, one in Sapporo as well, at Hokkaido. So, there's many uh, Mandaraki stores. So, I urge you all, if you are looking for uh, Japanese figures or actually uh, like like it's actually a lot of figures they, they supply pre-owned uh, but mostly Japanese imports Mandara K is pretty much one of the best sites for uh, second-hand figure shopping so let me just open in, uh, open this figure up uh, I do have to say first I got this figure for 3,500 yen uh, they said it has a smoke smell uh, and it's missing its OB. And when they say it's missing its OB, uh, I just have to tell you, I'll put a picture up here. But Revoltech uh, has this little strap, this paper strap that uh, encompasses with the whole package. So normally they come with those this strap like some kind of advertising material. Um, obviously it doesn't come there, that's why it's more cheaper. Uh, they say it's a supposed smoke smell, but let me take a whiff of it. There is no real smoke smell, so it's really subjective on to how uh, the Japanese actually, you know, sell their pre-owned figures. So, <clears throat> let me just do... So, what I mean by subjective is that sometimes they see like minor scarves in the figure as like major cosmetic blemishes and they will reduce the quality of the figure that they want to sell. So, it could go from an A to a B. Uh, because maybe there's like a small scratch that's hard, that's barely able to be seen if you're just looking at it displayed on a shelf. But from what I've known, this figure had like no blemishes on the skin or on the, the figure itself. Only that it's missing his OB and he has a mild smoke smell. I was lucky I didn't smell any of it when doing packaging. So um, this is how it looks like in front. The first in the Rivotech Queen's Blade line. I've got more figures from the Queen's Blade line. I think two actually, one uh, Rivotech Brandwen and one uh, Rivotech Aileen, Aileen? From, uh, but that is with a uh, 2P color, a second player color. These are from a line of games uh, for under the Queen's Blade umbrella. I guess they are fighting games or they are RPGs. I just really like it because it's a female in a knight or like a, in an armored suit, sort of. I'm probably gonna take off her, her belts because I don't really like that look. If I could get, if I could snipe Revoltech and a lot from Bai or from Yahoo Auction, oh, there'll be uh, a nice figure to look at, to marvel at. Let me open up. inside is her stand. Um, I'm not going to show you that, that will be more when I go into a review. 
there's no tape. And when they say smoke smell, now I know, now I understand what they mean because I actually smell it inside the packaging. Let me pop off the lid. So, let's see. It came. Oh. <laughs> Comes with her shield, a sword, a face, and her cast off or broken parts. As well as the Rival Tech box. Quite handy. And a Rival Tech coin. Uh, I don't know if it's still in use, but let's take her out of the packaging. Uh, so this is a uh, Rebel Tech Lena. Uh, she comes with all these pieces of plastic. And it's best I store this somewhere before I lose them. Uh, mostly because they don't want to like have any rubbing in between the armor pieces. But it makes the unboxing process pretty, you know, I would say, pretty rough, pretty hard. Okay. This plastic piece is getting a bit, well, hard to take out, but as you can see, she's already partially nude. So let me do this off camera. Alright, so I'm pretty much done with unboxing her. I've had a feel of her, of the figure. So I have some words right off the bat, first impressions. But, um, okay, I just leave it with like, I've dealt with uh, Queen's Blade Rebel Dark figures before, so I sort of know what I got. I get myself into. Um, yeah, some things that are good, uh, some things that are not so great when I find out uh, that couldn't be done, but it's part of the course for Queen's Blade Rebel Tech figures. So, this is the unboxing video for uh, Rebel Tech Lena. Uh, look out for the review, so like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Anonymous Walrus out.